Hello everyone, I hope you enjoy the video and leave your like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Open Market, Decorating the Cowboy's Interior OL Note, the content provided is based on opinions and or perspective of the DallasCowboys.com editorial staff and not the Cowboys football staff or organization. Frisco, Texas, diving deeper into the state of affairs across the offensive line, the Dallas Cowboys have their work cut out for them to determine what their front five will look like in 2023, and that's saying the very least. Having already touched on the offensive tackle position in the previous edition of Open Market, we take the laser pointer to the offensive interior, where Zach Martin thankfully remains the anchor, for now. The ascension of Tyler Biadas at center helps to stabilize things further, going forward but his absence due to injury in December shone a glaring light on the need to figure out depth. That being said, it's time we discuss some NFL free agency options, assuming they're still around when things get underway on March 15, legal tampering begins March 13. What's here, Connor McGovern? With so many headline in-house free agents set to hit the open market if no deal is struck with the Cowboys, it's easy for McGovern to be overlooked in the bunch, but his presence or absence on the offensive line will determine how Dallas approaches building the unit for the 2023 season. McGovern has made good on his draft status after getting the nod as a third-round pick in 2019, initially serving as a backup interior lineman who has since ascended to the role of starting left guard. The constant shifts across the offensive front, and the presence of rookie first-round pick Tyler Smith, saw McGovern eventually relegated to fullback duties later in the 2022 season, along with reps at center when Tyler Biadas missed time with a high ankle sprain, putting his versatility on full display. So, in essence, losing McGovern would mean losing more than simply a guard. Brock Hoffman the next man up in this situation would have to be viewed as a group effort until further notice, considering the amount of youth that exists behind McGovern, Biadas, and future Hall of Fame right guard Zach Martin. It's a group that includes Hoffman, a former undrafted talent who is entering his second year in the league. Now signed to a futures deal to stick around this offseason, Hoffman has shown enough to at least get a crack at the competition, mostly at center to the point where the Cowboys activated him in four games late in the 2022 season. There's still work to be done, though, considering his workload was exclusive to special teams in those contests. Alec Lindstrom Hoffman will match up with Lindstrom, amongst others like Matt Farniok, to determine who lands where on the Cowboys' depth chart next season. Lindstrom also entered the league in 2022 and also as an undrafted player, but one who was highly sought after by NFL teams before agreeing to join the Cowboys. A former two-time first-team All-ACC talent out of Boston College, Lindstrom is battling to extend his future in Dallas as one of slash the viable option, S, for depth on the interior. The competition should get very, very interesting this summer for young players on the Cowboys' offensive line not named Tyler Smith. What's out there, note, these players will be unrestricted on March 15, barring a newly signed deal with their incumbent team prior to that date. 